Will Worsham is here again. Good to see you. You know, we've talked about different topics. The one thing that we haven't talked that I figured you could probably give really some great advice is how do you pick a good lawyer? How do you know you have a good attorney? Yeah, well, that's a good question um, because people don't know. I mean, you no. look in the phone book, you can look on the internet, um, get, get referrals from friends. Right. You know, all those are, are decent places to start. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one thing I, I generally caution people about is um, uh, you'll get, sometimes you'll get solicitations in the mail. Oh, all the time. Um, you know, that, that may work out, that may okay. It's certainly not something to rely on. Mm -hmm. um, you still have to do your homework, Absolutely. I would think. You do have to do your homework. And frankly, the internet is making some of that more useful right now. There's some good sites out there that review lawyers, mm -hmm. let you look and see if they've ever been disciplined by the Bar Association. They'll allow past clients to review the lawyer, other right. lawyers to endorse or, uh, an okay. attorney. It also allows the lawyer to say, hey, these are my practice areas. Right. So one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you're getting a lawyer that practices in the area that you need a lawyer in. I was going to ask, are they, we're talking about specialists in a certain area of law. Uh, sort of. Lawyers are ethically prohibited in Missouri from claiming specialization. Okay. So technically we're all generalists. Okay. So you usually see lawyers talk in terms of my practice is limited to this or I am primarily a Got such it. and such. Like myself, I am primarily a criminal defense attorney. Mm -hmm. Day in and day out, that's what I do. I represent people that are accused of crimes. Right. Um, so that's my primary area that I work in. In my firm, we have people that primarily work in the areas of bankruptcy and divorce law. Mm -hmm. So those are things that our firm generally practices in. Okay. So you can go to a site like avvo.com, avvo.com, and you can look up a lawyer and say, hey, this guy, all he really does is social security disability, mm -hmm. or all this guy really does is, is family law, or all this girl does, all she does is bankruptcy. So you can find somebody that works is very familiar with the area that you're looking in. That's number one. Okay. Number two is have a good interview with this person. And depending on the type of case you're dealing with, you need to ask specifically how they've handled those cases. So like in, in my area, in criminal defense, you want to ask, hey, have you tried this type of case before? Have you handled this type of case before? Right. Have you gone to trial on it? Um, you can even ask about success rates. That's a little iffy because sure. sometimes there's different definitions. Success is relative. Uh, sure, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, 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 you exactly. know, if you've got somebody that the prosecutor's trying to, trying to put in prison for 30 years and you get them five, that's yeah. a pretty big win. That is, uh, that is. Even though some people might not consider no, it. No, everybody, everybody wants to go zero. That's what they want yes, to do. Yes, absolutely. But, uh, you know, you're okay, you're saying the internet can, you know, give you inroads into learning more about specific lawyers and maybe their areas of expertise or what they focus on in, mm -hmm. in their practice. But what about, you know, you, you talk about having a meeting with a lawyer. Yes. Is it important to stop him as often as possible and say, explain what you just said? Absolutely. If you don't understand what your lawyer's saying or your doctor or any other professional you're, you're meeting with, make them explain it to you. Mm -hmm. um, because that's your right. You, that's what they're there for. They yeah. call us, particularly, attorneys and counselors at law. So part of what we do is make sure people understand everything that's going on. The final thing I like to tell people that's the most important thing about hiring a lawyer, hire somebody that you like. Make sure you have a personal connection. That may be absolutely the most important thing. If there's something about the meeting with that attorney that you just don't like, yeah. you don't have an affinity for them, you don't think it's somebody you're going to be working well with, pick somebody else. Pick that somebody you that, 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 that is important, and you, you usually tend to think of in terms of, well, I don't like this guy, but boy, he's good at this. It's more important, you're saying, really to be able to connect with I that so. counselor. Because there's a very important trust relationship that's yeah. gonna, gonna begin when you hire a lawyer. And if it's somebody you don't like, you're gonna have a hard time trusting them, and you're always gonna be second guessing what they tell you and what you decide to do based on their advice. All right, Will. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can get more legal questions into Will. All you have to do is send them to wworsham at color10.com.